was a little over two weeks ago when Donna Burke's life changed in an instant. Her home went up in flames. With it, her beloved dogs. Her brother was in the house as well. He is alive, but barely. And now Donna's neighbors are pulling together for both of them. Local 12's Angela Ingram joins us from Mount Airy with the story. Angela? Well, Cammie, Donna Burke's brother has been in the ICU with severe burns since this fire. And she says the family pets that died in the fire likely saved her brother's life. Flames ripped through a home on Fox Road in Mount Airy April 18th. Donna Burks was at a funeral when she got a frantic call from a neighbor that her house was on fire and her brother was in bad shape. Well, he has first degree burns on his face and his neck and his shoulder, and he has second and third degree burns on his hands and his arms. He's also fighting pneumonia and MRSA in his lungs. So it's still a day-to-day -day battle with us right now and with him. James Burks was asleep at the time, and the family dogs alerted him to the fire, likely saving his life. Donna, torn between the hospital and seeing about her home, asked firefighters what happened to the family pets. They said they didn't see the dogs. I said, are you sure? There are three little dogs. And they said, we did not see any dogs in there. But right now, it's so smoky, we can't see. I went back home, and I uh, found out that they said they found the dogs. They were all hiding in the bedrooms and you know they had all died of smoke inhalation. Since then Donna's neighbors have pulled together to watch the home and cut the grass. Friends have also started a GoFundMe page pointing out her community service and numerous accolades for excellence in basketball at Cincinnati Public Schools and even playing professionally in Europe. Donna finds the support heartwarming and is asking for prayers. I've been so surprised and awed in the fact that so many people have called me to offer me their homes, to offer me food, clothing, shelter. Um, but just at this time right now, my focus is on my brother because when he saw me in the hospital, he wanted to know about the dogs first, and then he said he tried to put it out. Investigators tell Donna that the fire started in the breezeway. However, they have not given an official cause of that fire. Meanwhile, she's staying with another family member in Roselawn. Family members will be traveling to Columbus tomorrow to check on Donna's brother. Reporting live in Mount Airy, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. Well, it sounds like she is finding some comfort, Angela, in the, the generosity of people around her. They told her, you know what, Donna, concentrate on your brother. You have bigger things to worry about. See about him, see how he's doing, and we will take care of your home while you're busy with that. So a lot of generosity in the community, as well as friends of hers who live all over the country, really, who have supported her. Yeah, great support system. Angela, thank you. And friends have raised more than $2,000 so far to help the family rebuild. If you would like to help Donna and her family, we have a link on our website. Just click on the red Get It button. It'll take you there.